Would you like to work closer to home, save money on gas, and be rewarded for your hard work and attendance? Then Belicio Foods is looking for you. That's right, Belicio Foods is now hiring for multiple positions and shifts with great employee benefits, an on-site health clinic, competitive wages, and advancement opportunities. Belicio Foods is a company that truly values their employees. Apply online at BelicioFoods.com slash careers. At Vinton County National Bank, we believe in supporting the areas where we live and work. Now, we'd like to honor those who also serve our communities. Our new Community Champions account is especially for first responders, veterans, active military, and anyone employed in the fields of healthcare or education. This account offers rewards, discounts, and other benefits to those who give so much to others. Vinton County National Bank, rewarding those who serve. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the morning show right here on Main Street TV, where it is Thursday. Yes, yes, it is. Yes, yes, it is. Finally. You know what Thursdays are? What? Friday Eve. <laughs> I was just going to go ahead and have you say it. I don't know what. Thursdays <laughs> are. Oh, oh, oh. Say it again. <laughs> Today is Thursday, and you girls know what Thursdays are? Thursdays are bananas. Yeah! <laughs> okay, never mind. Inside joke. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, welcome to the show. We're so happy to have you here. And um, we are here with a couple of very professional young ladies, right? Yes. 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 So tell everyone who you are, and then we're going to talk about something that you guys are a part of that's really cool. Yeah. Yep. I'm Bailey Witt, and I am the regional president of BPA, which we will further talk about later, and the local president. And I'm Maddie Walburn. I am the regional secretary and the local vice president. Okay. So, very cool. And you girls mentioned BPA. Mm -hmm. So, let's go ahead and explain what that is to our viewers. So, BPA is Business Professionals of America, and it's pretty much, well, there's a middle school, a high school, and a college level competition but we're obviously in high school so um we are all in Mr. Rippus class and then we can compete at the regional state and national level for a bunch of different events and then we actually do really well at our school yeah we did really really well in our region this year I think we had eight or nine people get first place in their projects which is really great because we have what we just had a 13 different schools in our yeah. region so and we're the largest region in Ohio yeah so oh, really yep. mm -hmm. that's wild yep down I here in Appalachia Yep, uh, I think the Ohio's like one of the most represented BPA yeah. like states, mm -hmm. which is really cool too. Yeah. One. So, yeah. Very cool. Okay, so Business Professionals of America and you guys are in high school, so obviously you're not I don't know, maybe you are running businesses. I don't know. But but what are you what what's the point of the of the group? So, yeah, BPA like I feel I feel like she mentioned this on the radio, like it has something for everybody. Um, and it's just a great way for us to learn business skills, um, you know, that we can take in to the future, you know, job interviews, just being able to speak in front of crowds, in front of other people, um, and just being able to be involved in those projects is incredible. You know, if you, whether it's team or individual, you get a lot of skills from it. Yeah. And I agree as officers, like we are able to enhance our communication skills a lot because we get to talk to not even advisors necessarily, but students all around the region and state and we just have a great opportunity all around. So number one, it's it's you're learning skills, but it's also great networking as well, it sounds like. Oh, yeah, yes. 100%. Yeah. Get to meet different people throughout the, the area and, well, I guess all over the country probably. Yeah. It's a really it's a really cool experience. We got to go to – where what school? we went to South Gallia mm -hmm. and – What was the other school? Uh, we River Valley. Yeah, River Valley. And we got to speak to their classes, some of the classes about BPA and getting involved and stuff. So it was great to, you know – get to reach out to other schools. School. Yeah. Did you say you went to Buckeye Hills too, or was that for something else? Well, uh -huh. Buckeye Hills actually sponsors us and everything oh, okay. we do. Yeah. Okay, yeah. very cool. Okay, I knew there was some kind of involvement there. So tell us, is this like a club? Is it a class? Like how, how do you get involved? So BPA, if you, Mr. Business, our advisor, and if you enroll in one of his classes, you're automatically put in BPA. 
Um, you don't you don't have to be a part of it if you don't choose to. Um, but I think probably if you reach out to Mr. Ribbeth also, you could be a member of VPA. It's just a matter of it's 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 not technically a class, but I mean if you're enrolled in one of his classes, then you're in VPA. But okay, yeah. And what kind of classes does he teach? Pretty much any media related classes. There's okay. a graphic design one, and then we're just in media in general, which means we do everything. Yeah, the media team. That's like yeah. what we're, for like our yeah. athletics and stuff. That's what we do. Well, how do you? How are you in the media team for athletics when you're in all the athletics? <laughs> it's a lot. It can be a challenge, a yeah, but yeah, yeah. How do you be on both sides of the camera? <laughs> yeah, it's tough sometimes, but we have so, such a variety of people, so it, it, yeah. it works out for us really. But it's yeah, it's, it's really fun to be part of. I do a lot of football stuff, so that's cool. So I get to yeah, I get yeah. to, which is tough sometimes with band, but someone else usually videos, and I just I just take the videos and edit it. But usually the video. <laughs> yeah, it's usually uh, the editing. <laughs> He's the editor, you're the videoer. Yeah, exactly. I got gotcha. you. Teamwork. Yes. Yes. Love yeah. that. Love that. Yeah, because Maddie goes down and beats on the drum. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'll just video her every once in a while. Yeah, come That's over and video awesome. me, yeah. <laughs> How the heck did you get on drums anyway? That's hilarious. Yeah, I don't know. Like, my mom played the flute and my sister played the flute. Like, it was like. And you're like, I'm totally just going to bang on the drum all day. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know. My Maybe. brother actually takes credit for it yeah. quite a bit. Really? Yeah. I used to go to her house when we were little, and he had, like, a little kid's drum set. And I was like, that's so cool. And so then I ended up being in percussion. So maybe it, maybe it is him. It may maybe be. It was Bailey's brother, yeah. <laughs> Love that. That's awesome. But we digress. Um, so, okay, so BPA. Um, so tell us about some of the projects that you've been working on. So for regional competition, I have done a presentation individual. So I just prepare a presentation and then I'll present it to judges and then I actually got first in the region so I'll be going to state in March and then awesome. really if I win state I could go to nationals but me Maddie and Hayden are actually in a nationals project right now oh our our sweet Hayden that people don't think exists because he won't come over <laughs> he's here he's always behind the he's camera. behind the camera yeah. <laughs> Actually, he's behind the monitor behind yeah, the camera. Yeah, that's behind true. The camera. <laughs> <laughs> he's got like a double layer of protection. Yeah, there. exactly. So, okay. So tell us about like your presentation. Like how do you come up with it? What's it about? All that. There's actually a specific topic that we have to make the presentation on. So like this year was studying abroad. So then I had to talk about like oh. all the information that they wanted and then present it in a way that they like I guess <laughs> yeah so tell us a little bit like give us a little hint of your presentation so pretty much I was just saying that like the opportunities are endless when you study abroad and really there's not much that you can't like that you can hate about studying abroad because there's so many yeah. opportunities and like who wouldn't want to travel and yeah. I love traveling I know me too I know I'm like I always thought that too like why would you not want to do exactly. that stuff if you have the opportunity and you can to. get so many scholarships and stuff so that's what I was saying. And you can get college credit. There you go. For having, yeah, for, for, for traveling. traveling. Are you yeah. kidding? That's exactly. so cool. Very cool. Yep. All right. Well, that makes total sense. So then your project that you all three are doing, what's that about? So that is a project. So we have like the projects that you present at the regional level and you have to go through region, state, and then to nationals. Ours is a, a virtual project. So it's like online and you they judge it at state. But we do like a Zoom presentation, so we don't do it in person. But if we do well in the Zoom presentation, then we get to go to Nationals, which is in Chicago this year. So that would be really cool. Speaking of traveling, right? Yeah, speaking yeah, of traveling. Fun. But our project um, is we had to – I'm trying to think what the title of it was. Um, but basically we had to promote this park in Chicago, Grant Park. Mm-hmm. And um, – there's like an event going on and we had to like pr- uh, promote the event. I made a promotional video uh, kind of about the park. Um, I did a lot of the research and then Hayden actually made the entire app. Yeah. So, and it's like interactive and everything. Like it was pretty awesome. It gives you like a virtual tour of the park. It's really cool. Hayden's a mastermind back there. He really is. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Very good. No, these are good things that I know about you. <laughs> you have these skills make them start doing more yeah exactly, exactly. yeah you don't ever want to tell us that you know how to do stuff around here <laughs> you're gonna get put to work way more it's all right we'll tell you that he can no that's really really cool so but this is all like like 
not real. It's it's like as yeah. a presentation. Yeah, yeah, exactly. For like a yeah, a competition. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you're doing all of this, but it's not really like on out there for people yeah, no, to see. Yeah, no. That is so wild mm-hmm. that you that you do that. And um, so they just rando pick like a park in Chicago, and they're like, here, mm-hmm. promote this in the event. Yeah. Okay. And then we had to pick a couple landmarks over it. Like we picked the Bean, obviously, yeah. and then we wrote about it, and that's all in the app. Yeah. I'm sure Hayden can show you one day. We learned a lot about the history, actually. We did. Landmark, so. Yeah, that's kind of cool. So you're learning. I mean, you guys are learning stuff too, but then promoting it. Yeah, exactly. That's really neat. It's very cool. So, um, well, congratulations. That's Thank that you. sounds like Thank a you. lot of yeah. fun. Um, so are you all accepting new members, or how does that work? Well, technically, it starts like you're automatically a member if you're in one of Mr. Rufus classes. Right. So. I'm really not sure if he allows like yeah. new members to come at any time of the year, but at the beginning of the year, there's always new members. Yeah. Now that competitions have started, yeah. it would be tough to join now. Yeah. Like you'd have to wait and do stuff next year. Yeah, yeah. I but gotcha. um, yeah, like you can join at the beginning of the year. Mm-hmm. Um, we have a couple meetings about it, so yeah. um, people looking to join can come to those. Okay, and about how many members do you all have here in Jackson? Oof. Probably almost like two hundred. I don't like we. There's not oh, a big, that many. There's not a big chunk that can pee. You can choose to compete, and yeah. then there's usually like forty that can pee. Okay. And yeah. we actually brought a lot with us mm-hmm. to yeah. regional. We did really well at the regional yeah. level ceremony. Yeah. Nice. Congratulations, yeah. you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Very fun. So this is your senior year. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh! What have you guys been up to? <sighs> I know work. it's basketball season. Work and work and work and work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bas- soccer, basketball, band. You know, the media. And media. A lot of cool stuff. And BPA. And BPA. <laughs> yep, yes. And pretty much every club that the high school yeah. offers. Yeah. yeah, I don't know how you guys do it all. Really, I don't. I don't either. <laughs> There's just a lot going on that yeah. you all have to be involved in. Like, we were involved in stuff when I was in school. Way back in the horse and buggy days were when Maddie's dad and I went to school together. But... Um, but yeah, we don't, didn't have anything like what, what you guys have to get into. So that's very cool. So as seniors, what does your future hold? What, what are you planning on doing? Um, I actually just uh, like a week ago, verbally committed to play at Otterbein for basketball. Oh, great. So, yeah. Good job. So I'm very excited about that. I plan to go there and study criminology and who knows after that, hopefully get a career in police work or something like that so if not you can fall back on playing the drums man <laughs> we can yeah. make a rock band go make a rock band yeah. <laughs> and then hayden can make an app for you guys exactly yeah, there we go See? it all goes full circle it all ties together <laughs> what about you bailey i plan on going to ohio state if all goes well and then i plan on majoring in psychology and then going further and getting a forensic psychology major okay mm-hmm. very cool that sounds like fun yeah. you know watching csi all the time. <laughs> Criminal Minds is my favorite. Oh, uh, yeah. Is that still on? I don't think I don't so. Know. Oh, okay. They have like 19 seasons uh, yeah, right now. Like, 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 there's like 100,000 episodes, but <laughs> yeah. I didn't know it was still on. I used to watch yeah. that all the time. It's like Grey's Anatomy. It just never ends. Mm-hmm. Grey's Anatomy is about to come out with their 20th season. So here's the thing about Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> Number one, I never watched it. I haven't either. Oh really? No. I have. But not all 20 seasons. But not all 20 I think seasons. it's just all drama. Like, it's not real. I can't get into it. And and Criminal Minds is? No, but it it feels real. Like, I feel like I can connect to them. Like, Spencer Reed, Detective Morgan. Detective Morgan is a great man. man. (laughs) He's real, I swear. (laughs) It's just show, but it's real. Exactly. Uh, But no, Grey's Anatomy. I never, and then it's like, it's almost intimidating because, like you said, there's like 20 seasons. I'm like, I am not going to start yeah. watching that now and yeah. have to like commit to 20 seasons yeah, no. of watching this show. Yeah, I didn't get that far. I I'm on season like seven, and then I watched season 19. I skipped. <laughs> they got like a whole new cast, and I was like, oh, it's just kind of like a like a new series almost, but it's the same show, it's just like different people. So I was like, it wouldn't really matter if I just started here. So now it's like there's only one season out. So then you could start it. Start at season 19. Okay. There you go. <laughs> it just doesn't matter any of the other stuff. Yeah. Because it's all different people anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> but when you have nobody in the cast that what you started with, you yeah, should seriously. have probably cut the cord. Like yeah. just. 
<laughs> or the office after Michael Scott left. Yeah. Like, you might like, as well just end it Yeah, then. just don't. Yeah. It's, it's just not. Just just like, let, isn't the let same. it die, man. <laughs> yeah. Just let it go. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it was sad when he left. Yeah. So what uh what shows do you guys watch? Like what's a what do seniors in high school what are you into? Or do you have time to do that? You right? Only. Actually recently I've been into Law and Order Organized Crime because that's what I want to do. Okay. So I've been into that, but like I don't know, like I'll just watch whatever. The 100. I don't know if you ever watched that. Dylan likes it. <laughs> Wait, what? The what? It was a good one. Yeah. Yeah, I got kind of weird. All shows do that though, I feel like. But yeah <laughs> yeah it was so like it's called the 100 and basically like the storyline is there was like nuclear explosions on earth or whatever so they went up to space and then like hundreds of years later they're like running out of oxygen and so they send down a hundred like juvenile delinquents because like if you're a teenager you can't get like arrested so they just, like hold you in a cell well they sent them down to the ground to see if it was survivable but also to preserve oxygen yeah it's kind of brutal <laughs> <laughs> that is so yeah. mean. <laughs> yeah, but then it ends up being survivable. So then they're like down there and they think they're by themselves, but then they find out there's like survivors and then it's just like crazy. But it's really good. Like yeah. Yeah, so it gets what, crazy. How do you watch? Where's that at? It's on Netflix. Why have I not heard of this? Do you it, watch that? No, I've never watched it. Okay. I've seen it. I just haven't watched it. Like you've seen it on like TikTok and stuff. Yeah. That's where I saw it first and I was like, this looks good. And then I watched it and I, was, I watched all seven seasons. There's seven seasons? I, it's It gets kind of, after season four, it's like, so if you want to just stop at season four. But okay. I, I watched it all the way through. It was pretty good. Okay. The ending was kind of sad, but I won't spoil. <laughs> okay, I'll spoil it. To yeah. Dil- Dylan Dylan's wants like, to know. I just really don't want to watch it. Just go ahead and give <laughs> it to me. <laughs> I will, Dylan. I don't want to watch the rest of it. <laughs> what do you watch? Yeah, what do you watch? Me personally, I feel like every woman needs to watch Gilmore Girls at least once in their lives. So I've been on a Gilmore Girls mm. kick. I've never watched Gilmore Girls. Oh, either. well, I've watched it like, before you die. I've watched season one, <laughs> I well, think. Pro- probably pretty close, so I better get to it. I'm so old. <laughs> I don't know. I just think it's so cute. Yeah, I really do good. like it. So it's not like emo and... No. No, no it's not like the 100 where they're like... Yeah, no. Sending people it's to like, toxic earth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The only thing is Lorelai can't pick a lover. That's really the biggest problem. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Luke. It needs to be Luke. It needs to be Luke. Sorry. It always, it always should be Luke. Well, now <laughs> now, she now I don't have to watch it. <laughs> no, no, no. Because there's so much more. <laughs> she goes through four it's on ne- that's first season. That's on Netflix, too. Yep. Okay. Gilmore Girls. Did you guys watch Virgin River? I did not. I think I I have watched like a little bit of it. I haven't watched all of it though. So here's the thing about Virgin River. I will spoil it for you. It's okay. Um, every episode, the same thing happens over and over and over, but you still watch it because it's like kind of cute. Yeah. But you're like, really? Okay. There's like some kind of chaos in their relationship and then they break up and then they get back together. <laughs> and then the next episode, there's some kind of controversy in their relationship and they break up yeah. and then... Well, I mean, I watch that every day at the high school, so I feel like, <laughs> I feel like I'm all right. <laughs> That's real. Oh, life. my God. <laughs> that is hilarious. That's relatable. Yeah, totally. <laughs> oh. That's yeah. funny. I that watched, is good. Yeah. I've never seen it, but I should watch it, I feel like. It's okay. Netflix has a lot of good stuff. Sweet they Magnolias really is really cute. My mom watches that. Yeah, that's I've they're more that. like our age, because yeah, yeah. your mom and I are old as dirt as well. <laughs> Come on, I don't, I don't <laughs> think I don't think you're that old. I wouldn't guess you a old. day over thirty five. Thanks. We'll go. We're gonna go with that. <laughs> so sweet. I love you, girls. <laughs> that was so bananas that you said that. <laughs> that <was> so bananas. <laughs> I <laughs> forgot I was supposed to say bananas. That was crazy. Yeah. That was bananas. <laughs> <laughs> so bananas. Oh my god. <laughs> So, so last time you were here, we talked about Taylor Swift, mm-hmm. and um, have there been any new Taylor Swift updates since you know you were here last? Just her and Travis Kelsey. W- wait, was she dating lot. Travis Kelsey last time we were here? I don't, I don't know. That was a long time. I it don't think she was. I don't think so. Here's the thing: they're overhyped. I I is like it on your nerves. Yes. Okay. Thank yes. you. I like Taylor Swift. I'm not a Travis Kelsey fan. I like Jason Kelsey, his brother. Yeah, he's cute. Mr. Williams. Oh my gosh! Everyone says he looks like you know Mr. Williams at, our, at the high school, Williams. Morgan Williams. I know if I saw him, I'm sure. Yeah, he it's he kind of looks Kelsey. like Jason Kelsey. Is he? Yep. Yeah, cool. but yep. 
I, uh, I don't oh, know. Oh, I know who you're talking about. <laughs> yes. Yeah yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 He just retired recently. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> but, um, I, I just, I'm tired of it. It's making me, like, not like her just because yeah. I see it so much. I know it's I not know. her fault, but, like, but it kind of is. And seeing her with the Mahomes kind of like yeah, I don't like the, I don't like the Mahomes. No, lady. no, no. Yeah. That whole crew like. is. Just... Or his brother. <laughs> no. Yeah. The creepy brother that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, and I agree with you. I think at some point this is going to backfire um, because everybody is. It was like funny for about two mm-hmm. two Second. weeks. Second. Yeah, <laughs> and then Second. then it's like. Okay. Come yeah. On. Enough. Like yeah. we're watching a football game, not the Taylor Swift show. Exactly. Yeah. It'll just be a breakup album here in about a few months. Which right? means we're gonna get good music though. So I think yeah, I'm right. Willing, I'm, I'm willing to suffer now for good music. Yeah. yeah. There is gonna be a serious album over yeah, exactly. there. Exactly. About dating a football player, like yeah, how she I not mean, learn from high school. Like it's gonna be something like that. Yeah. yeah exactly. Like, <laughs> like what was I thinking? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Just relating yes. it back. Yeah. Mm. It'll be good. It will be. I'm about to write her songs now. So that I can send it to her in a few yeah. years. Just, and then, yeah. yeah. I like <laughs> that it. idea. Yep. It's coming. No, you just have to, I don't know. So, like, so she's had all of these relationships that weren't public. And she's written all this music about yeah. it. So I can't even imagine what's yeah. going to happen when this thing goes to pot. Because everything goes to pot eventually. Like, it just does. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. If, Maybe they'll yeah. live happily ever after. But I'm not, you know. I wouldn't bet I, on it. You know what? I hope that I, I just I just hope they're happy. Yeah. As long as they're happy, I, I guess. The best, that, but yeah, I don't. You don't want yeah. to be just, happy, but I just but, don't need to see it on social media. Yeah. And yeah. just on TV, like yeah, seriously. I'm watching watch a football, football game. game. I want to watch a football game. I don't yeah. want to watch like that. Yeah, I am sad the Bills lost though. I know. I like Josh Allen. Hey, some little kitties are getting a lot of good press over it though, because the kicker that um, missed the field goal. Yeah, has been promoting this like animal shelter, oh. and um, he's like a cat guy, and oh. so people are like donating all this money to this cat shelter and stuff that he promotes. So. Like, oh, yeah, he the- yeah, yeah. I would. I don't think I could be a kicker because of that, no. dude. I'm just gonna tell you, if there's a st- more stressful job in the world, I don't know what it is. Yeah, that was. I mean, yeah, that was like me in soccer when it was like penalty kicks. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just so me. It's and, like, it's, that's it's, your only time. Yeah, the whole yeah. world is looking yeah. at you. I'm like, <laughs> yeah and then if you miss it everyone is just like oh yeah yeah or like yeah shooting free throws in basketball like it's just tough situations but yeah. a kicker is just right here yeah. everybody look at me <laughs> yeah like yeah. five seconds of your time to shine and then you just yeah. run off and do it again later yeah yeah and it's like at a boy and then yeah. or it's okay yeah, <laughs> and, exactly. and then it's like womp womp yeah. <laughs> you're either getting a yeah or a, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just no, in, but there's no, no Yeah, it's either well, especially NFL kickers, it's either a yeah or you're fired. Yeah. Like yeah. the next day. That's your job. Like Yeah. 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 You get paid money, a lot of money to do that. So. Yeah, I don't think so. I mm That would be I do not have nerves of steel like that. But the Bengals have money Mac, so it's okay. He doesn't miss. Knock on wood. Yeah. Yeah, they did really good in the playoffs this year. Listen, <laughs> we're, not, we're not getting into this right now. We didn't have Joe Burrow. We gotta keep somebody. Got to do something to not get him killed. Is all I'm saying. A new O line. Yeah, and I, I thought we did, but now we don't. I saw this meme once, and it was like, put a bunch of like high, like twenty year old girls out there that have a crush on Joe Burrow. <laughs> <laughs> they'll never let. They'll never let him get hit. <laughs> the six foot five, three hundred pound D line. Yeah, won't stop these girls um, from no, having a crush. You're exactly right. We love him. <laughs> Heck no, put their moms out there. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, true. Seriously. No, so being our age, there's this whole debate about it. I'm sure you guys have heard about it. So, you know, you're like 35, mm-hmm. yeah. like 35. 35. And, um, you know, Joe Burrow is 20 some Yeah, 20 thing. Mid 20s, I think. Yeah. So there's this whole thing of. Because he's so adorable. Let's just mm-hmm. all be honest. Yes. And you guys are like, okay, young enough that you could be like, oh, Joe Burrow, I love him. <laughs> like, so cute. But like when you're my age and you're like, oh, Joe Burrow, I love him. <laughs> are you like the creepy old woman or are you like motherly toward him? Or is it creepy <laughs> that you think he's cute? Like, honestly, I think I, there's a fine what? line. I think yeah. that I think that it's okay to think he's cute. 
I mean, an attractive he, man is an attractive mm, man. Yeah. I feel bad for the girlfriend, adorable. though. Oh, I know. Yeah, there was so much speculation about them getting engaged. Did we ever, like, figure that out? Or AJ McCarthy and his girlfriend got engaged? Is that who's that? Oh, that's the Michigan quarterback, mm-hmm. isn't it? We I don't like Michigan, so I don't. Yeah, we don't talk about that. We don't talk Sorry. about Michigan. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that whole situation was bananas. It, yeah. it was bananas. <laughs> You're correct. So that's okay because their, their coach it, quit, so. Yeah. 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 yeah, they can't do it anymore. No, yeah. he's going to uh, he got caught, so uh, the Chargers. Gonna... Is that's that where he's going? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He'll be in the Good NFL riddance. with his brother. Yeah, now. which it, I actually sides of the coast, but yeah, I actually do want Baltimore to win the Super Bowl though. So it would it would make our conference look good, the Bengals conference. I like that. So the only Bengals game I ever went to, they played the Ravens and they won at the last moment. The Bengals did, not the, yeah, yeah. It was really fun. Hmm. And I was like, okay, they won. This is good. That's enough. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. It's like the Reds game. So, oh, I went to a Reds game once. I think I've told this here on the show. And it was like bananas, like seriously <laughs> bananas. bananas, like so bananas. Because they, um, like both teams, like combined, broke the record for the most home runs in like really? a game, like ever, I think. And I mean, I felt like all we did was go, woo! And the fu- I thought they were gonna run out of fireworks. Like seriously, I thought they were gonna run out of fireworks. It just like went on and on. just home run after home run after home run. I'm like, this is so fun though, because it's like yeah. so exciting. I'm like, I can't beat that, so I'm just not gonna go back to a Reds game. Yeah. yeah. Truthfully, I think MLB is fun to watch, but like college baseball is about the slowest sport I've ever watched in my life. I think I'd rather watch golf. I don't like it. It's pretty rough. What's worse than watching golf? Listening to it on the radio. That is true. Does your dad make you do that? Well, <laughs> not anymore because I have my license now. But <laughs> during like the big like masters tournament stuff, yeah. he would listen to it on the radio. Which like I mean it's his car, I get it, but like golf on the radio. <laughs> so your dad was a really, really good golfer. Still is, I'm sure. But yeah, like, he, he doesn't very, very good much golfer. anymore, but yeah. Yeah. And uh <laughs> So, yeah, I guess I can see that since that was kind of yeah. like his thing. But I'm like, let's turn on basketball. Let's listen to basketball in the car because I listen to basketball. Yeah. Just golf. Yeah, I golf. Would, like, okay, actually, maybe golf is a little far. <laughs> so do you, I mean, like, how do you listen to golf on the radio? Like, is it just like birds chirping yeah. or what? Like, just, like, these, like Austra- and then- these Australian guys, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> like- <laughs> and then they, like, describe it, I guess. I was- and then the crowd goes, oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah and then you hear it whack off a tree and that's about yeah. the end of that yeah. the best is like when it's like the british open isn't that yeah and he will like wake up at like 3 a.m to watch it I'm like I that's commitment but i do that for so- like when the world cup was going on i woke up at 3 a.m to watch world cup i guess it's just what you like i guess yeah but that's soccer everybody wakes up <laughs> at 3 a.m to watch world cup soccer <laughs> Only Wait, one time a year, but <laughs> Baby, I, can't say I, do. I mean, I'm just saying, <laughs> golf not so much. Yeah, no, no. I guess if it, I, I, I don't know if it's your passion or if you really like it that much. I guess, but that's true. I just don't. I would never. But yeah, I wish I could golf, but I would. I get so angry. Like if I just mm. don't hit it the right way, I'm like Happy Gilmore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like if I if I don't hit, I like throw my club. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So golfing's not a thing, good thing for me, but. <laughs> yeah, I don't I've never really golfed, so I can't say that I um know about that, but I know what my temper is yeah. and I know that I would be you. Yeah. Yeah. One hundred percent. Yeah. So we have a golf simulator at the brewery. You guys could come in and play that. I've seen, that. I've seen it. But every time there's someone's in there, it's very popular. It is popular, but my dad did it once, I think. I think he went there like he said like it was you guys were still testing it out. He was oh, there yeah. doing it one time. It's like yep. Had to get some good golfers in there just to make sure it was, like, aligned properly and stuff. (laughs) Because I can't go in there and hit a ball and know whether it's, like... (laughs) I can hit one, like, one out of ten times. Yeah. I strike out. (laughs) I would strike out, too, yeah. In golf. It messes up my... I actually did... Someone was trying to talk me into playing softball, and I said, can't mess up my golf swing. But I tried. (laughs) Yeah, it was Bailey, actually. So hard. You play softball? I do. Yeah. I think that's partially why I think baseball's kind of boring, because it's so much, like, slower compared to softball. Like, softball, the field's shorter, so then the plays are quicker. Everything's faster. Yeah. yeah. And, like, I can get – we can get a whole seven-inning game done in about an hour and a half, and then the baseball yeah. team's still in the fourth inning. Yeah. Like it's, it's like – It drags. Three and a half hours yeah. later, you're still yeah. there, like, woo. Yeah. 
Exactly. Yeah, I get it. I get it. So what made you go um, choose basketball in college? I mean, was it just the opportunity given or? Um, it's just always been. Is that your goal. sport? Like, yeah. is that your favorite sport? Yeah. I mean, I grew up around it. My dad's been coaching yeah. since I was in uh, third grade, probably. Yeah. So just growing up around it. And I, you know, it's always been my favorite. I like soccer, but um, it's definitely, you know, basketball's always been my thing. Also, soccer's just very physically draining, like. Cause I'm always just diving around on the ground. And I, yeah. Like I'm constantly hurt. I mean, basketball is too, but I don't know. It's just, I'm more passionate about basketball and I'm excited. So. You could always play the drums. I could always, my, my, <laughs> my mom did try <laughs> to get me to go to OSU and try and be in the band. And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, that'd be, man, that'd be hard. Yeah. I was like, that would be tough. And also four more years of carrying that thing on my shoulders would be, would be, would be tough. It's heavy, <laughs> but no I'm excited doubt. to play basketball. So. Very cool. Yeah. We actually have a life goal that yeah. after we graduate, we're going to move to Washington, D.C. together. Yeah. Why this Washington, <laughs> D.C.? Well, because that's, Why? That's where I want. Cherry wanna... blossoms or what? Yes. Well, that's where I want <laughs> That's where I want to work. One, I love history, and there's so much history in D.C. And two, I want to do police work, detective work, and that's just like a bigger city to do it in, but it's not like New York screens everywhere, big city. It's like a, you know, more. Yeah. And um, mm-hmm. she wants to be like, I said I'm gonna be a police officer and catch the bad guys, and then she's gonna like. I want to be a forensic psychologist. Yeah. So I'll like interview them and investigate. So them you'll be like <laughs> assessing their crazy brain. Yeah, exactly. We'll and be then criminal she can come home, and then I'll be like, "Oh, you're crazy." Yeah. Kind of thing. Yeah. And well, our apartment. So are, are you are you <laughs> assessing us both right now? Yeah, I am. As we talk. I am. It's been this. <laughs> our apartment's gonna have like. The cork boards where you like, yeah, put the pins <laughs> <in>. <laughs> like mug shots, yeah. Yeah. lines, yeah, we're trying to stream. Yeah. We're like yeah, up exactly. at two a.m. like trying to figure something out. <laughs> I can't sleep. I'm gonna... I can't oh, figure God. this out. <laughs> yeah, because I'm sure that's how it is in real life. Oh, one hundred percent. Oh yeah, I'm sure. It's just like the TV shows. And yes, yeah. it's absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So I was talking with someone the other day. We were talking about these like home improvement shows, like. uh you know, on HGTV mm-hmm. and stuff, how they all get done in like a half hour yeah, and it's rougher. Yeah. And you've got like, okay, I'm I'm sure Joanna Gaines is really in there with a hammer. I mean, really. Yeah. Just yes. knocking the tar out of the demo Another in this house. Done. Yeah. <laughs> like she's so cute. And yeah. like I'm not yeah. taking away from her because they've are I amazing. Yeah. But like come on. <laughs> yeah. They don't yeah. improvement shows though. Yeah. I like the yeah. tree house. The Treehouse Master, is that what it is? Oh, I don't know. I've never I've watched that. that one. I watched Fixer Upper and then um, Love It or List It were my two. Yes. Oh, yeah. They fight like little like <laughs> yeah. brothers and sisters. Yeah. Yes. yeah. yeah I those... feel like that would be me and Bentley, though. Like yeah. Me and my little brother. <laughs> we would fight like crazy. If you guys did that show? Yeah. 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 And then there was the one with those twin brothers. I don't like them. Oh, the... Property um, Brothers. Oh, yeah, yeah, Property Brothers. I didn't watch that one as much. Yeah. Something wrong always happens, and then it's out like another fifteen thousand dollars. Like they just screw people, whatever. I think yeah. <laughs> genuinely. Well, if you actually read articles about a lot of these like homes and stuff, people yeah. come back. They're like, "Yeah, <laughs> uh, we bought this house, and it sucks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like there was all kind of issues with it, whatever." Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but no, so yeah, I mean, TV. It just it's you never all, know what's real anymore. You don't. It's yeah. Crazy. Reality shows are not really reality, which is. Yeah. Do you watch the Kardashians? Men. No, I can't. I will say I have. I have too. I'm embarrassed to say that I have <laughs> like because, no, like, yeah, yeah, because they are so ridiculous. Like, there is just yeah, nothing good lot. about any of that situation. Yeah, I don't know. Did you see the rumor that like Timothy Chalamet is dating Kylie? I did. See that. No. Yeah, the guy that was in Wonka, he's apparently dating like. Kylie Jenner I didn't or something. See that. Wait, so. which one is it? Kylie, the one that had like the baby and or the two babies, and, yeah. or is that the other With one? With the rapper, no, yeah. 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 She's the youngest out of. Like, she all was like five twelve. Girls. <laughs> the babies. <laughs> she was really young. Yeah. Like Nineteen. I yeah, think. she was really young. She was really. Wait, young. What's his name? Travis Scott. Yeah, Travis Scott. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. They are beautiful girls. All, they really all they're are. all gorgeous. They really creatures yeah they are. i think north is really cute too she looks a lot like kanye though. northwest north northwest yeah she's a rapper now I, is she have you seen it northwest how old is she five <laughs> <laughs> 12 or something. yeah oh is she that old she was featured 
I didn't want to sleep. pause her or something. Yeah, it was I, the poor child doesn't have a chance having no. Kanye as a you know no. as a dad. Like I don't. Where get is it. Kanye right now? Like D- doing something MIA. stupid. Like, I yeah, he like kind of fell off the face of the earth for a while, and then. No, <laughs> is he, he still running for, for president? president? No, I don't think so. <sighs> Dang, I can vote now, so I'll be able to vote too. <sighs> we'll be. Yeah. I turn eighteen in two weeks. Oh, that's cool. So you guys will get to vote. Wait. Yeah. Will you make it for the primary? No, wait. Well, if you can vote by the, like, a main election, you can vote yeah. even if you're 17. I think it's the, isn't that the rule? Is it? I, I don't know. So. That's a good question. Yeah. I, because I registered, I voted on, like, when we did issue one and issue two. That was, because I wasn't registered, but I could have voted the one before that. Because I was, okay. I don't know. It's weird, but. It's okay. cool. So I they let like, you. Okay, that makes sense. I feel like a real U.S. citizen now. <laughs> Wait till you get called to jury duty and don't have time to do it. That's fun. Yeah. But. Yeah, because the defendant didn't show up. You want to oh. talk about. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Did they find him? Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> you can only imagine where he is. <laughs> Probably sitting in hot, jail. Jail. In hot chocolate. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Watching Hallmark movies. Yeah, r- watching Hallmark movies in jail. Yeah, yeah. As an 18 year old, can I get jury duty like and get out of school? Is that allowed? You know what? That's a good question. I I've been here at that point. I've been 18 I since don't... August and I haven't been called yet. Yeah, you probably won't. I, it's like literally, I've been called to jury duty, I think, and only had to show up once in my entire life. Mm-hmm. And I've been registered since I was 18. So. Can you get jury duty as a police officer? I feel like that's a conflict of interest. Yeah, I think as long as you're not Involved on the case. Yeah. Well, you never know. Maybe. That would be cool. I think I it would be cool. fun to sit on a jury if it was like I had time, which I never do. And or it something was, actually cool. Yeah, if it was fun. It was just like a drug I talked to, yeah. That's your fault. Please don't let it be like insurance fraud yeah, or something. Like I talked to someone one time and they got on, they were on, they got called for jury duty and it ended up being like a murder case, but they got dismissed and so they didn't get to do it. That would suck. <coughs> oh, wow. Yeah, but that yeah, would have been would crazy. Have, that would be crazy. Crazy stuff. Just saying. Maybe you can be a Supreme Court justice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well. You don't want to do that. Yeah, I'm not sure that. No, like that's don't, like a, don't want to get into that situation. <laughs> no. If there's even a spot open ever. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still back up. Where did you guys get D.C.? Of all okay. of the places in America that you could move to. They have a hockey team. They do have a hockey team. We like hockey players. So does Columbus. Okay, listen. Okay. Okay, so I've been to D.C. three times so far in my lifetime. And I just love it there. Like, I love okay. history. History's my favorite thing. I mean, one of my favorite things. And so I was just like, this is such a nice place. I would love to live here. I mean, it's expensive. Yes. But every big city is. And I want to live in a big city. So. And also, D.C. is just like. I don't know, maybe I'll be in the Secret Service or something. Ooh. I never know. And then Bailey was just like, oh, yeah, D.C., we'll go there. Yeah. <laughs> or I can move to Florida, because I feel like all crazy people live in Florida. Have you seen the Florida Man stuff? That's it's like, like if you search your birthday stuff. and see what your Florida Man is. Yeah. Wait, like, what? Back up. You can what? look up your birthday and then be like, crazy Florida Man. Like, yes. just look it up, like, and then you get, Florida like, man. a whole case. Yeah. And I promise you there's a crazy man that did something on your I'm birthday. On your birthday. Mine was... Mine was something with, like, oh, I remember. My Florida man was this guy who mailed, I think he mailed, like, bombs to people who spoke out against Trump. I'm not kidding. That was my Florida man. Wait, I need to know what my Florida man is. Hayden. Hayden. (laughs) July 9th. (laughs) Now we wait. (laughs) I need we, to know. We did this in history class one day, and we just looked up at everyone's. So it's just man. like. Florida <laughs> <laughs> man arrested after trying to flee deputies on riding lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> That's a no. He got, he got Florida man. He got arrested escaping on a lawnmower. John Deere. Oh. At least it was John Deere. This is John Deere. At least it was. He a, was classy. Yeah, at least it was a high <laughs> class driver. <track. laughs> Is that all there is? Is this a video or a picture of it? (laughs) That looks, yeah. That's believable. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not saying that. (laughs) Oh. We're not saying that. Oh, okay. (laughs) It was a guy that got caught with drugs on his 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's something I'm not saying. Oh. But said they weren't his. <laughs> well, his is that your Florida man? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that might be better than mine. Yeah. See, it's more, it's more interesting. Like, it's than mine, just but. really interesting. Yeah. Mine was boring. What was yours? I can't remember what mine was. Well, look it up, Aiden. February 7th. Just in case you forgot. <laughs> We already got you your gift. Me and Hayden, we pitched okay. in. It's like a million dollar gift. Oh, yeah. Is it? Is it a mansion? Yes. Yes. So no. we in DC. In DC. I just really had a gut yeah. feeling. <laughs> now you guys know that you have a place to live. Ooh. Okay, he's laughing. Wow. He punched his girlfriend in the face. For changing the channel during the Super Bowl. Oh. Don't I can see it happen. Wow. I could totally see that happening. Yeah, 100%. Don't change the channel. We play I mean she should know better. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we play we 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 zone in, like even on the commercials. We play like commercial bingo. Oh, Super Bowl commercials yeah. are the best. Oh yeah. yeah. The best. So don't change the channel. Commercials and the halftime show is the best part of it. Oh my gosh. The Rihanna halftime show? The Rihanna Renaissance. I still watch that in media. Like the me and, Rihanna halftime show. Me and Hayden, after it happened, I think we watched it every, every single day single for at day. least a month. <laughs> yeah. And then Hannah Merrill singing "Bad Habits" on top of it. Yeah. And then ha- yeah, Hannah Merrill just yeah. Shout out so, to Hannah. Wait, Merrill. who's yeah. doing well? Who's in the Super Bowl or who's the halftime this year? It's Usher, right? I think it's Usher. Did right? I see something about Dolly Parton and? Okay, it got I leaked. Is like a big that collab. a joke? It got leaked know. that like Usher and then Reba and Dolly were like gonna come out on stage. Is that I like that. I don't know if that's real. That would be see cool. that happening, but I feel like if Dallas was in the Super Bowl, they would have to bring out Dolly Parton. Isn't she a Cowboys fan or something? Or is she from Dallas? No, she's from uh, no. I don't. Oh, know. I she lives in no. She's from Tennessee. Oh, just kidding. Sorry. <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah, I don't take me away. Okay. <laughs> Hayden, <laughs> laughing. Okay, it's Bailey sings random stuff all the time, and we do like. For the new show, we do a new show at Jackson every week. Every week. Wait, let's talk about that. Yeah, we do a new show every week. I am the upcoming events anchor, so I just talk about the upcoming events every week. But Bailey does the anchor segment, so it's like... I'm the main anchor. Oh. Yeah. And then she also does some fun segments, and one time she did a fun segment, and she just started singing <laughs> on the microphone really loud, and it played in the cafeteria yeah, three Hayden times. put it in the fun segment. Yeah, he put it in. This, he put it in when he was oh, editing. It was Hayden. Because, yeah. <laughs> like, during football season, I just interview every week. If I'm not, like, videoing, yeah. mm-hmm. I'll just interview random people. Yeah. So I like to have fun with it. Like, whenever the queen died, I asked yeah. one of my friends, like, to sing the British National Anthem. and <laughs> Like, it was just fun stuff. Yeah. Stupid stuff. Does yeah. anybody know what the British National Anthem is? We looked it up afterwards. I and have never. I didn't even. It was, like, all hail the king. Queen. queen. Queen, king, queen. Whatever monarch they have at the time, I guess. Oh, the person. Yeah. The human. Yeah. Although it could be not a human now. I don't That's know. That's true. Oh. Could be a dog. Could be a corgi. Yep. <laughs> I want a dog. I, I want a... One. You can have mine. A dog a... in D.C.? Oh, we should get a dog. dog. Mm. Do you think our apartment would... We're getting a small apartment because we're we have a feeling at first you're we're poor. gonna be poor. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're gonna be right out of college, and so we're gonna Unless have to. Unless get... we find men, rich hockey players, rich hockey players, See? love that. <laughs> you guys are gonna be like the groupies out, like hey, with the signs, like at the hockey yeah. team, like let out area. Yeah. Like I'll write my number on the sign. Yeah. We actually found our love for hockey players through VPA. Yeah, See, through VPA. We went to a. Uh, we went to a blue, blue jackets, yep. blue jackets game. Okay, because we, we got found to like one certain person. Yeah, we got to tour the stadium. Do and they have see... a super cute hockey player. Yeah. Who is it? He dated Tate McRae. Yeah, you know Tate McRae. I've heard. Yeah, singer. Yeah. Yeah. Singer, yeah. Mm-hmm. He dated her. But I think he cheated is... on her. Oh, so he's not so bad. He's, he's not good people. Then. He's not good people. So we might have to. Everybody move makes on. mistakes. So everyone can be forgiven. <laughs> no, <laughs> not for that. I'm just kidding. I, uh... <laughs> We need to talk. After I've learned this that. Show. No, I've learned that the hard way. I'm good now. I'm good now. <laughs> yeah. But um, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um. Yeah. But we there's a hockey team in DC. So yes. Also. Okay. We plan on like whenever we first move, just going there and like sitting in the front row. I haven't talked with her about this, but yeah, I didn't know this. Was um. It. We're gonna make signs and then like, I like our, our headshots. <laughs> so when I walked in this morning, Brittany had um. 
a blown up head of <clears throat> some people and she was cutting them out to hang on like a you yeah. know, stick thing. So I'm like, you could do that. Well, there was Mike DeWine in the yeah. radio room and I wasn't yes. expecting he, Yeah. Yes. It was kind of a little jump scare. I'm not going <laughs> to yes. lie. Yes. Yeah. I was cracking up. An elf. The guy. Yes. The, yeah. Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. So Mike DeWine, like that was so funny when people would like put him in the back of their, <laughs> like, their car. Like, he's watching. Yes. You know, the back, yes. Like, yes. Yeah. Uh, Oh, those COVID days. Wasn't that a blast? No. No. <laughs> Nothing it's about weird. that was a blast. It was weird because we were in eighth grade, right? Yeah. So into just, freshman see, that's so weird. I mean, it seems like it was yesterday. It was like a while ago now. You were a freshman, really? Yep. So you we didn't were... get a freshman homecoming. We only got three homecomings in our high school career. Hmm. Do you need a hug? Nope. I'm not. I'm all right. I'm not super <laughs> sad about it. <laughs> well, just think if you were a senior and didn't yeah, get a senior prom. I would be sad if you exactly. didn't get like a senior prom. Like graduation, that would have sucked. sucked. Yeah. yeah, graduation would. Yeah, but agreed. Yeah, I don't know. COVID was just like I had like a five hour recess every day. It was, it was great. a fever dream. It really. I was. feel like someone was. I saw this on a video the other day. Someone was talking about like how twenty years ago was just two thousand and four. Yeah, and I'm like that. That's weird. Like, even for me, like, I know, like, I'm, I mean, I was born in 05. But even for me, I feel like 20 years ago, I was like, oh, like, the 90s. But, like, it's, like, the. Yeah, well, so, for <sighs> me, it's, like, the 80s. Yeah. yeah. So, like, I'm, yeah. like, the 80s were, like, five minutes ago. Yeah. Like, I grew up in the 80s. Yeah. 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 So, if I, what really makes me, like, think about it is, like, I graduated college in 97. <laughs> so, if you think yeah. about, like, that was crazy. Yeah. And then, um. Yeah, it's just you think about like like carting people at the brewery or whatever yeah. <laughs> that are twenty one, you're like, uh uh-uh. uh. No, what what's the age? Like fourteen or something now? I don't yeah. know. It's like yeah. something stupid. Really born in three. Yeah. O three, is that what it is? Yep. I think so. Twenty one. Yeah. yeah. Three. Mm-hmm. Cause I'm like, ha ha, that's hilarious. That's actually crazy. Yeah, that is weird. Yeah. So time flies when you're having fun. I guess. When you're thirty five. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Or when you're not having fun, it still flies. It does. Yeah. It just gets worse. Just yeah. let you know. Yeah. Seriously. Uh, it does. All right. So back to B P A. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so, would you recommend um, people participate? Yes, absolutely. I personally, it has been one of like the coolest things I've been a part of since I've been in high school. Okay. Um, I had the opportunity, me and Hayden and another girl from our school had the opportunity to go to California actually last year. Really? Yeah. Um, cause we made it to nationals with our project. Um, and we got to go to Anaheim and it was so cool. You know, we got to one compete at this crazy place in Anaheim, which was really cool. But also, you know, we got to go to universal and Warner brothers and nice. see all this cool stuff. So it's just like such a great opportunity to just see different stuff, you know, in high school and it's like free because you know buckeye hills is so we're very grateful they pay for most of it and so it's just such a great opportunity to why you can and not have to pay for it to do it if you can you know you should try no and i agree with you 100 percent. it's kind of like traveling abroad for school or whatever like why wouldn't you while you have the opportunity to do it yeah like no other club gets to travel or even like go to columbus really yeah yeah. like we get to spend three days in columbus just Mm kind of just having fun and presenting and then we all we have to do is sit through an award ceremony. Yeah. So other than that, we're just like bonding and having a lot of fun yeah. and eating good food. Yep. There you go. There you go. Yes. And singing in the restaurant. Yeah. Last we week went we to Buca de Beppo. Restaurant. Yeah. Which is really good, by the way. And the group of seniors last year sang like in the <laughs> restaurant, sang us, and I was Bad just romance. like, I was like this at the end of the table. <laughs> <laughs> so they sang Lady Gaga. Yeah. Song. And everyone clapped for them. That's yeah, <laughs> at least they didn't clear out the restaurant. Yeah, they yeah. yeah they got dare to do it, so then they. Yep. Of course, if you dare. if you get a dare, you have to do it. You do have to do it's it. It's not even double dog anymore. It was just a regular just dare. A dare. Yeah. Like no triple dog. Yeah, life's too short. Yeah. Okay. Unless you they like say like jump off a cliff. Like, yeah. Obviously, you don't do then that. Maybe you don't want to do that do or that. a bridge or something that endangers you yeah. or other people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But singing at a restaurant, I guess. I mean, truthfully. At the end of the day, nobody cares. I'm just yeah. going to say that if I were at a restaurant and a group of kids broke out in song, I would probably like it. Yeah. yeah. You know? It's just like a lighthearted. It's like from the reminder. movies. Exactly. They break out in song. Yeah. 
She's like, like the sound of music. <laughs> I love the sound of music. I don't know if I've ever seen it. I haven't really? either. It's why I said high school musical. It yeah, makes a lot more sense. I just watched the sound of music like um a couple months ago for the first time. I like old movies like that. Yeah. Well, also, they're classic. Julie Andrews, isn't that? Mm-hmm. That's very good. Yep. But I know her from The Princess Diaries. Mm-hmm. Yes. Those are cute. Yeah. Anne Hathaway is cute. Mm-hmm. She's, yeah. She was just in something. I don't remember what it was. Well, since it's the morning, what's your favorite breakfast food? Mm. So you mean like what do I eat for breakfast? Yeah. Or if I were to go out yes. for yeah. breakfast? Like if you had a choice to eat anything yeah. for breakfast. What would you eat? Okay, well, I have a couple. Okay. Is that fair? Yeah. Okay. Chocolate chip pancakes with whipped cream. Okay. Mm. Which I never eat because they're so bad for yeah. you. Um, I also love sausage gravy and biscuits, which is also mm. not good for you. But you're asking me like what I oh yeah like. yeah. I have an issue with eggs. Um, I think I'm a little bit allergic to them, mm. so I can eat them about fifty percent of the time. I get like start feeling mm. bad, and then fifty percent mm. of the time I'm like okay. I'm not a fan of eggs. Yeah, I. It's something about it. I can tell like if I go to a restaurant, and I'm like. It, I can just tell like how it sounds to me mm-hmm. whether I'm gonna get sick or not. So I don't know. I had I had scrambled eggs this morning. Did you? Matt Walburn made me some scrambled eggs. Did and, he really? And toast, yeah. Matthew Scott. He did. How do you know that? Oh, you guys are friends in high school. <laughs> That's crazy to me that you know his middle name. <laughs> Sorry. Do you? Never mind. <laughs> Matthew Scott. Me I call and Matthew it- Scott Walburn have been around the block a time or two together like come on like literally since kindergarten you were his oh you you got you graduated 93 you graduated together her mm. name is actually matthew no it's not <laughs> i am named I after mean, him though do. maddie we do like to say that. i am named after him though a lot of people call me matilda because usually when you spell maddie like this the way i do you usually it's usually matilda it's is your name Matt? is it really maddie or is Ma- it matty yeah m-a-t-t-i-e that's it now say that again. M A T T I E. It's just Matt with an I E. Yeah, but is that like your official name? Yeah, yeah. That's oh, my, okay. That's my government name. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. My government <laughs> name. When I go to Washington <laughs> D.C., yeah, that my social security. Is your name it will be on my badge. Yes, yeah. your name's yeah. on your social security <laughs> card. I know my social security number. We're not now. in life yet. We're just yeah. Still in well, I had to fill out fast for like twenty times to get it to work, so I actually know my social security number now. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good thing to know. Yeah, you're gonna need to know it many, many times in your life. Yeah, I think that's actually crazy. Like a government, the government everyone has you have a number. You have a, a number. number. Hey, it's yeah. better than a microchip or something. I feel like that is a microchip. Our well, phones they, are they, a microchip. They follow. Yeah, they follow Our you phones on your phones anyway. So yeah. Yeah. You're like, just another number in society. You are just another number. No, I was I was at Kroger the other day scanning. Um and I think I bought I bought something where they needed my ID, like cough medicine or something, and I'm like it's going to be to the point where you don't even have to do this anymore. There's going to be like a laser beam that shoots yeah, down. It's yeah. like scans your retina or something. <laughs> yes. It's like, yeah, this girl is, yeah. This is all your information is yeah. going to pop up. You know, I got ID'd for the first time the other day and it was so weird. I got, t- I bought Tylenol and they were like, we need to see your ID. And I was like, why? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I was like, why? They're like, that's oh. actually crazy. Try to go buy spray paint or white out or, I mean, all of these. White out? White out. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Yes. I knew spray paint. I didn't know white out. I mean, crazy stuff. That's dumb. Honestly, yeah. like it's. I'm like, do are, I not look sick crazy. to you? Like, I'm not gonna make math out of it. I promise. People like, are crazy. I just have a home improvement project I'm trying to do. Let me yeah. buy spray paint. <laughs> I'm just trying to paint my cabinets. <laughs> it's yellow. If you see yellow spray paint anywhere in this town, it's me. Okay, I'm admitting it ahead of time. We don't have much graffiti here. I don't. Yeah, I don't think so. so. Like, yeah, no. I have a problem with that. No, it's so crazy. Okay. What's your favorite breakfast foods? Did you oh, have? Okay. We have a few minutes. I think biscuits and gravy are a good choice, but I also have been on an avocado toast kick. Okay, mm-hmm. I do like a good avocado toast. Yeah. My favorite breakfast, and we only get it once a year on Christmas morning. It's like a breakfast bake with like eggs, which I know you don't like eggs. Like but a casserole. Yeah, it's eggs like, like the sausage and yeah, stuff. eggs, sausage, mm-hmm. bacon, cheese, and like bread, like little slices of bread. I do and that too on so Christmas good. and Thanksgiving. My Nana makes it. Yeah. 10 out of 10. That's my go-to breakfast pick. But I honestly love breakfast, but I never eat it. Yeah. I just it's rush. the most important meal of the day. 
Well, I'm a, I, you should I, eat bananas. Just like smile at the camera. <laughs> yeah, that's when you. <laughs> we need a, the crowd goes wild. We need like a banana counter on the on the thing. Like every we time, do. Every time someone says bananas now. No, bananas. Uh, like how many times have we said watch. bananas today? Yeah. Yeah. A lot. <laughs> Bananas. We'll explain it to you someday. Yeah. All right. Well, girls, thank you for spending the morning with us. This has been fun. And um, I think that you know we have a lot of fun talking to you all. But I think at the end of the day, um, some of the things like BPA, the Business Mm -hmm. Professional Association, like that is something that can certainly give you life skills for you know ever. You can learn. They will. They will be things that accentuate and, and help you grow and get through. Um, the rest of your life so please you know take advantage of it yep yeah for sure promise you won't regret it yeah and you can talk to them if if you have any questions yeah so very cool all right well we will uh be back here tomorrow probably with some news since we haven't done much of that this week right dylan yeah okay he says news okay (laughs) so have a great day girls thank Thank you you too thank you and we will see you back here tomorrow bye-bye